welcome to Organize with professional organizer Rachel Seavey. Every Sunday at 6 p.m., Rachel shares her expertise and compassionate approach to help you deal with overwhelming clutter. Rachel? Hey, collectors! Welcome to the Organize podcast. I am your host, professional organizer Rachel Seavey, and we are now in episode 5 of our Scratching the Surface series. This episode is all about ADHD and clutter. Do you have ADHD and clutter? Do you often start projects but never seem to finish them? Do you lose track of time and are always running late? Are you frequently looking for your keys or your phone? Whether you're diagnosed or undiagnosed, if you feel like you have attention issues and clutter, then this podcast episode is for you. Many of my clients have ADHD. The combination of ADHD and clutter can become very overwhelming. Where does one even begin? With all of the items surrounding you, it's hard to stay focused. A lot of the times this clutter becomes loud and noisy to our eyes. It becomes overstimulating and overwhelming. You try your best to stay focused, but all of your other unfinished business catches your eye and you're not sure what you should do first you find it hard to prioritize. You go to wash your dishes, and as you're searching for a clean towel to dry them with, you notice that the cat box needs a terrible changing. So you go to dig out a reusable plastic bag, and you realize you probably should throw a load of laundry in and get that going while everything else is being done. Once you're in your laundry room, you realize you do not have any laundry soap. Bummer. You go for a notebook to write down your grocery list, and just as you're writing down the word laundry, your phone rings. You don't even get to finish the word. It's Kaiser, and they are reminding you that you have an upcoming appointment. You hold and wait and listen to their music for three minutes for an actual person to confirm your appointment. And then you confirm your appointment and you hang up. Whew. Wow, you are exhausted. It's time to go have a snack before you head out. Does any of that resonate with you? Did you realize that your dishes never got done? Nothing actually got done because you felt compelled to run around in circles all day. And this is actually something that's very common with ADHD. Starting today, I want you to stop being so hard on yourselves about these types of behaviors. Instead, try and learn more about ADHD. When you have ADHD, you have limited access to your executive functions. And that's the part of the brain that does all of your prioritizing, scheduling, organizing, decision making. You get the point. You do not have clear access to this area of your brain. It's science. You are not lazy. You're not stupid. So stop telling yourself these things. You are going to work around your ADHD so that it doesn't work you around in circles. Collectors, I am going to present you with five tips on how to manage your ADHD and clutter. I hope you find some of these helpful. Tip number one, pick an area that you want to declutter. Take large bed sheets, tablecloths, fabric, anything, and cover all of the other areas so that you are not distracted. Only reveal the area that you are working in. Constantly redirect yourself back to that area if you see yourself leaving there. Tip number two, set a timer. Set a timer for 15 minutes on your phone or on a timer. And when the timer goes off, if you realize that you're actually not in that area that you need to be in, redirect yourself back to that area. 
Tip number three. If you find it hard to remember what area were you working in and you don't want to use a tablecloth or a sheet, find a bright colored piece of cloth or fabric or poster board or anything that will catch your eye and make that location very obvious. Tip number four, use labels. Your working memory does not need to remember exactly where everything is located. Label temporary boxes and bins and bags, as well as your permanent locations. If you don't want people to see all of your labels, put them inside of the drawer instead of the outside. The less your working memory has to remember, the more your mind has available to focus. Tip number five. Collectors, I do recommend that you get help for your ADHD. There are online resources such as CHAD, which is children and adults with ADD. And you can also ask your doctor to test you for ADHD and see what if this is what is slowing you down. Medication is an option. And so is normalizing your ADD. And that just means accepting that you have attention deficit issues and seeing how you can actually use those to benefit you. Documenting your progress will also help you. You don't have to share it on Facebook or with anyone else. Just take some photos on your phone or with your camera before and during the process. It's really easy to forget how far you've come when you look around and there's still so much stuff to do. By documenting, you remember how it was before you started and it allows you to see what your pace is. Perhaps you need to move a little bit faster or slower, or maybe you just need to see that you actually have done a lot of work from where you started. Collectors, if you are listening to this podcast on YouTube, please don't forget to show me some love and click the thumbs up button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or leave a comment. Until next time, collectors, and remember... Happiness is a place between too little and too much. This has been Hoard Your Knives with Rachel CV. New episodes are available every Sunday at 6 p.m. and also on the Collector Care YouTube channel. Download Rachel's Affirmations for Collectors on iTunes or Amazon.com or sign up for Rachel's blog at CollectorCare.com and receive seven tips for clutter-free living. Thanks for listening.